Good evening, everybody. Evening, Jordan. Congrats on the big win there. Darian Kendrick comes over as a transfer from Clemson. He's played in the college football playoff games before. For him to have the performance he had tonight with two interceptions, what do you think that meant to him in this defense as a whole, especially bouncing back after the Alabama game? Well, shoot. You know, we came in here, we wanted to play our game. And uh, DK, you know, coming from Clemson, being part of a winning program, won a national championship in the past, definitely gives him experience. He'd been here before, so he knows how this thing goes. And, you know, he just got to keep it balanced. And he kept this balance, got two takeaways, and he had an amazing performance tonight. So you couldn't really ask much more of him. Hey, Jordan, um, two questions for you. One, are you a fan of Oranges? And two, you know, y'all have heard all week about, you know, Michigan's offensive line, the Joe Moore Award, all that kind of stuff. How much did y'all hear that and use it, you know, as motivation, go out and prove, you know, hey, y'all are obviously one of the best defensive fronts, defensive fronts of the country too? Uh, definitely uh, a fan of Oranges. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, we didn't really use it as motivation. We knew there was Joe Moore Award, and they totally deserve it of that. They have a great offensive line. But uh, we just wanted to make sure that we was dominant and physical up front. And, um, you know, we wanted to make sure that we tested them and gave them a challenge. And that was our game plan going in, being a more physical dominant front. And um, it was a battle of line of scrimmage. So that's that was our goal. We'll next go to Seth Emerson, followed by Dan Matthews. Jordan, just kind of trying to take the measure of the mood there. Uh, how much of it is just kind of focused on what was accomplished here? How much of it is already kind of looking towards what this means in terms of the rematch with Bama for all the marbles? For sure. Um, definitely, you know, in the locker room, it's exciting. You know, we're enjoying this win. Uh, me personally, I'm kind of even kill. Uh, definitely ready to get back into the film room, continue to work. Um, you know, the national championship is quickly approaching. And uh, we just had to get back and play our game and show the people what we can do. Jordan, what's this last month been like for you personally after that performance in the last game? Um, definitely this last month been kind of crazy. Uh, you know, you sit there and you think about the past a lot, but um, one of the things that I try to make sure that I did was keep moving forward and uh, just travel on and, you know, take each day by its day. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we played a new game, played a new team, and, you know, the past didn't affect us. And we just have to make sure that we keep moving forward in the future because, you know, the past is history, but the future is mystery. Next two questions will go to Patrick Garvin, followed by Drew Hubbard. I'm good, Mike. Hey, Jordan. Um, Obviously, yeah, defense against that good offensive line. Was there anything different you think between this game from the Alabama game a couple weeks ago as far as on the defensive uh, front goes? Um, we just knew that we had work to do on a defensive line, and that's one thing that we've been preaching all week and pretty much ever since the Alabama game is just making sure that we play our game and play how we were supposed to play. And I think that we did that tonight. Um, you know, Michigan is a great team, and we just want to make sure that we was more dominant and physical up front. We'll next go to Dean Leggy, followed by David Wilson. And that may be it for Jordan. Hey, it's me, not Dean, but but Jordan, uh, you know, what? what's your attitude going into this? Obviously, the emotions of winning this game, but, you know, job's not over. What, what's your mindset right now in this moment? Uh, definitely, uh, you know, got to enjoy the win tonight, probably this weekend. But, you know, at the end of the day, we only got 10 days of prayer for the national championship. And, uh, I think we're going in with a good plan, and we're just ready to get back out there and work and do what we got us here. It's just continuous working. Uh, David from the Miami Herald, or anyone from Miami Herald, have a question? If not, we'll quickly go to uh, Justin Felder at Fox 5. Yeah. All right. One last question for Jordan. Anybody jump in? Jordan, you get the night off, brother. Sounds good. Y'all have a happy new year. I'll see y'all, Indy. Congratulations. 
Thank you. Jamari Shaw, you'll be joining us next. Ooh. Uh, congratulations, Jamari. Our first two questions tonight will come from, uh, we'll go to Jake Roosh and follow that with uh, Connor Riley. I can't hear you if you're talking. I don't think they're talking yet. Okay. So uh, let's go to Connor Riley. I know Connor, Connor's ready. Yeah. Hey, Jamari, how much do you think this meant for James to play this well in Miami, his hometown, have the big touchdown, have the big 50 yard catch and really galvanize this offense tonight? Uh, it was huge. Um, I know uh, it's always special to me when I get a chance to play in Atlanta, whether it's uh, Georgia Tech or whether it's for the SEC championship. Um, it's always a big deal for me. So I can only imagine on this stage, him being a Miami kid was huge for him. Um, I'm excited for him. I'm excited that he got the opportunity to do this for him. And, um, you know, it's, it's like Coach Smart said all week, you know, we, we kind of want to be the guy that want to hold the bottom of the ladder so that other guys can elevate. And we, we did our job so James can elevate tonight. So I'm, I'm happy for him. We'll next go to Drew Hubbard, followed by Jed May. Hey, Drew Murray. A lot was made of Michigan's defense. Obviously, have good players, you know, with Aiden Hutchinson and Ajabo, things like that. How were you guys able to kind of limit what they did as far as getting to Stetson and dominating the tonight? Uh, it was a battle. Uh, I will say that uh, a lot of people make it seem like, you know, that we just dominated them. No, they, we, they make plays, we make plays. But uh, inevitably, we just wanted to go out and, and, and battle. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to uh, play our best game, me and uh, Warren included. We know that we knew the strength of their defense was their defensive ends. Um, very, very talented players, take nothing from them. Uh, we just, you know, had a good game. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the way that we played. Um, just up front in general, we played a really good game. Jamar, you mentioned holding the ladder so other guys can elevate. Is that kind of – the mindset of this offensive line, I guess, overall and tonight, you know, it's up to y'all to keep Stetson clean, give him time, all that kind of stuff. Is that your mindset? And do you feel like you kind of did that tonight? Definitely. I mean, just, um, you know, offensive line, it's easy to say that, but just as a, as a team, you know, it's kind of the thing, one of the things we talked about for this game is just uh, being the guy that, that, that holds the ladder. You know, you want to be a guy to hold the ladder so that, that the team can climb to the top. Um, you know, so uh, it's easy for, you know, office line alignment. Obviously, we do that. every. That's that's our thing. We hold a ladder for everybody. But, uh, you know, just as a team, as a team concept, that's what we want it to be. It was just everybody wanted to be a guy to hold a ladder so that the team can keep climbing. And uh, I feel like we did a great job of that tonight. We'll next go to Seth Emerson, followed by Ryan Curley. Ari, uh, I guess the last month has seen kind of the outside world question y'all. And I don't know if y'all question yourselves inwardly even. Was there a moment early in the game or sometime during the first half that y'all were pulling away that you kind of either to yourself or to someone else said, okay, yeah, this is, we're, we're, we're back to doing what we thought. We, uh, we I, don't, I don't think there was ever a, a, a point where we questioned ourselves. I think we just kind of knew that we had to get back to work. Um, you know, I, uh, you, you know, you're defined by, by how you respond to adversity. I think Martin Luther King said that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of our concept we took as a team. We just kind of wanted to bounce back and, um, and show the world what we could do. Um, I think uh, to answer your, your other question, I think in the, in the first half, um, you know, it was <laughs> you jumped on it pretty fast. I think the world could see that. But uh, um, we just kind of wanted to keep play two halves of football. Um, obviously, you know, we've played our playing opponent, opponent uh, Alabama, of course, the We've seen what one half of football can do, so we just wanted to finish it, finish the game the right way, and uh, play our play our brand of football. Jamari, how long have you guys been drawing up that trick play where Kenny McIntosh <laughs> threw that touchdown to to Ad Mitchell? I can't put the time frame on it, but uh, you know we ran in a good good bit in practice, and it's, it's just one of those plays you know like. We'll see, you know, he might not call that. But, uh, you know, we got the play and we all looked at each other. And he's like, well, let's make it work. And, uh, you know, initially he was covered. So I'm like, oh, man. But he broke out of there and I was like, whoa, <laughs> we got a shot here. So it was one of those, it was one of those plays that worked sometimes in practice, didn't work in practice sometimes. But, hey, it worked in the right moment. So, hey, we'll take it. And our last two questions will go to uh, Caleb Johnson, followed by Kip Adams. No question from Caleb. So Kip followed by Guy Proke. Hey, Jamari. Uh, just talk about the difference in matchup you have now. Obviously, 
you had some uh, future NFL players you had to uh, protect Stetson against uh, tonight. And now looking forward to this Alabama rematch. I mean, what, what's your mindset as far as how you perform tonight? How would you grade yourself? And what do you think about this having that opportunity to, to match up against another elite pass rusher for the national championship game? I'm uh, very excited. Um, uh, obviously, the, the trio, um, Hutchinson, Ojabo, and, and Anderson, obviously all great players. Um, even the young kid they have over Alabama is really good player. So I'm excited. I'm always excited to, to rise to the occasion. Um, as far as grading myself tonight, I'd say like a B minus, C plus, somewhere in there. Um, you know, obviously they, 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 we went back and forth. You know, uh, you watch the tape, we went back and forth. It wasn't a perfect game. Um, obviously, you know, I pushed myself to try to be perfect, but obviously that, that can't always happen. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm very happy about the way that, that the team played, and I know we got some getting better to do. Um, definitely got to get get in better shape as a team. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm excited for the challenge. I'm always excited for the challenge to play play a good player. So. Yeah, no question from Guy Jamar. Congratulations. Um, yeah, I'm good, Mike. Okay, Jamar, you're good. And in a moment, we'll be joined by the Kobe Dean. All right, Happy New Year. <laughs> Congrats to Kobe. A couple questions for you. The first two will go to Seth Emerson, followed by uh, Connor Riley. To Kobe, uh, y'all were uh, y'all were have hats that say champs on them. They were playing. Uh, we are the champions out there. Do, how much do you feel like champions? How much do you feel like there's one more game that will actually definitely one more game? Um, champs, not at all job not finished you know uh we didn't we didn't do our everything we did this whole season just to win you know win the orange bowl you know uh so job not finished hey nakobe what did darian kendrick bring to this team not just today but obviously all season with the with the experience that he has at defensive back you know uh he, he brings a lot of confidence in, you know in that uh that secondary you know confidence and and, and swagger so just to have him, you know, he brought a lot of experience also. So just, just to have him back there, you know, uh, is, is just great. Our next two questions will go to uh, Drew Hubbard, followed by Ralph Russo. Hey, Kobe, how do you think you guys were able to be so effective against Michigan's offensive line? Obviously, you know, really good unit. How are you guys able to be so effective as far as being the pass rush, stopping the run and things like that? We just um, basically the way we work, you know, over the past couple of weeks, um, what we emphasize, the work we put in, feel like uh, we've gotten better. Um, and we got to continue to work for the uh, next week and a half and continue to get better. If no questions from Ralph Russo, we'll move on to uh, Jed May. Jed, go ahead. Hey, Nakobe. Yeah, just kind of following up on that, what have y'all emphasized over the past couple of weeks since that Alabama game? And was it maybe like a mindset that y'all had to change or was it more like X's and O's fundamentals type things that y'all had to work on or maybe a little bit of both? Uh, we worked on a little bit of everything, you know. Uh, first couple of days, um, closer to the loss, we kind of had like a little camp. It was kind of like camp practices. And then we uh, kind of – then we focused in on Michigan. And we just continue to get better um, in, in every asset. You know, we continue to work on everything from special teams to offense to, um, to pass rushing to technique, anything, you know, anything to make you better individually. I feel like we as a team worked on it and we as individuals also worked on it. Okay, we'll go back to uh, Ralph Russo. And after, after Ralph, we'll go to um, this is the first Brian Curley. Hey, Nakobe. So I'm coming in a little late, so I apologize if I'm asking something that you've already heard. But the team seemed to, the defense especially, seemed to be playing a little angry tonight. If you guys got a little tired of hearing about what was wrong with you for two weeks. Well, you know, um, we, we try to we kind of stay out of what everybody else talking about, you know, try to stay out, but 
I would say that this probably was a uh, one of the first weeks was nobody like riding us as far as you know thinking we was gonna uh thinking we was gonna just destroy somebody. So we we had no pressure, you know, and it's, and it's the same thing. And we we always play, we always want to play with a chip on our shoulder. And I feel like uh, and that will that be the same way we uh, continue to play uh, here on out. Nakobe is uh, losing Alabama a few weeks ago. Going to few fuel you any extra in this matchup? You feel me the same, you know. It's a national championship. <laughs> you need to be ready to play. No matter who we, who we was playing, you know. I'm fueled up and I'm ready to go. They set their ball out there uh, tomorrow. I say I get I ice up and I be ready to go. You know, um, they just how ready we, uh, me personally, am I am for the game, and that's my mindset going to it. And we will see Matt Charbonneau from Detroit. Do you have a question by chance? And that'll be the last one if you do. No, I'm good. Thanks. All Happy right, New Kobe. Year's. Congratulations. Happy New Year. And we'll be joint wrapped up. Our fourth player will be James Cook who is joining us shortly. James, congratulations. And, um, we'll open up our first two questions. We'll go to Seth Emerson, followed by Connor Riley. James, uh, I imagine you're not thinking about like your childhood, whatever, as you're catching passes and running into the end zone, but like, what, just tell me what it's like to have this kind of game here on this kind of stage? Um, I mean, one, just playing in my in, in Miami where I grew up at, it just, like I had to, it just felt like, it just felt different really. And just playing in front of my fans and, 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 and really just wanted to get my team a, a, that edge and, and, and get that monkey off our back, what we had that last taste in our mouth. So just kind of doing it for my team, for real, for real. Hudson, I'm wondering if you could have imagined, I guess, this moment five years ago when you were with the team at the, uh, at the Rose Bowl. I think Ralph forgot to mute his, his mic there, but uh, <laughs> hey, James, what, what sort of, you know, it looked like you had a Gatorade cooler with Zamir there. What, what sort of did Kirby tell you and what sort of happened in that moment? I'm not sure, really. I just, at that point, I was just like, forget it. Nah. I ain't really know what was going on for real, for real. Okay, we'll next go to uh, David Wilson with the Miami Herald, followed by Jed May. Hey, James, uh, congrats. One, just kind of wondering how much, like, friends and family uh, were maybe here for you. And then, obviously, your older brother had a, a similar game like this against Michigan in the Orange Bowl. I'm curious if you talked to him at all in the lead-up uh, to this game or, or even since the game has ended, maybe texting with him? Um, Not yet. Um, um, But, I mean, he kind of talked to me just, just saying that this is the last ride and just go lay it all on the line for my brothers. And that's what I did today. In front of fans and family, and it, I mean, uh, all my family supported me today. They had a, like a big tailgate, a tailgate party out there, so they was out there supporting me, and I had to do it for them and my own brothers on the own field. James, just take me inside your mindset. Like, how is this game different when you're playing where you grew up and in front of all these friends and family, and then specifically you catch this touchdown down here? Just what goes through your mind in that moment, knowing, you know, you you made a play like that on this kind of stage in this place. Um, I mean, it just feels great. Um, just just knowing I did something special for my teammates, really. And um, I mean, it's really not all about me at this point. It's just about me getting the, um, the victory for my teammates and um, leading up to a national championship the best way I can and and, and doing my part. Okay, we'll next go to Drew Hubbard and follow Drew with Ryan Curley. Hey, James, for you specifically and just the whole rushing attack, how do you think you guys were able to run the ball so well against this really good Michigan defense? I mean, just being physical, really, just staying on the attack. And, I mean, our O-line played a, a hell of a game. And, um, I mean, and we really just ran the ball for real, for real. Like, we, we got after them on the up front, and that's what we said all week. The physicality travel, and, and that's what it did today. 
James, does Kenny have the best throwing arm out of the running back room? Is that why he got to do that? No, he did. Are you jealous? Nah, I mean, we got to score it, so I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't jealous. Okay, we had a few more people join, so we're going to go to uh, Chip Towers and follow Chip with Mark Bradley. I apologize. Who are we talking to? <laughs> got James Cook. He's from oh. Miami, if you didn't know that, Chip. Yeah, he's he's from uh, – I, I measured it. He's like six and a half miles from here uh, is where he grew up. Uh, James, I uh, apologize. We were on the other Zoom. Uh, I can just imagine how special this night might have been for you. And uh, uh, let me know who all was here and just can you kind of put it in perspective. I mean, it, it went in and then having such a great individual effort. Um, it, it was my mom. And um, my um, like just everybody really in my family, like auntie's brother, my oldest brother. Of course, Davin couldn't come because they got a game. <laughs> and um, my sisters and my stepdad, like my girlfriend, just all of them was there. It was a lot of people here. I could go on and on, but I mean, just getting a win and, and leading my team to a national championship the, the best way I can is a plus. And I mean, I'm just happy that we can see another game for real. And I mean, it's special just doing it at your hometown when you can when you when you can accomplish and, and score for your brothers and, and, and see my other teammates score. That's a plus too. So, I mean, just getting a win. Period. It, 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 I was I was gonna be satisfied. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, James, um, coming off coming off the Alabama loss, I'm sorry if you've already meant, responded to a question like this, but the the way you got off to a start tonight, uh, touchdown, to touchdown, was that important to just put everything in the past? I mean, we've been moves on from that. I mean, we've been had that chip on our shoulder when we when we, when we get out there to play somebody else. We just gonna get that taste out of our mouth, and that's what we did today. And and, and I told the, the guys every time we go out there, we gotta score every drive and don't leave no points on the field. Cause I mean that'll get you beat like it did against Alabama. So I mean we gotta just keep standing on the attack and, and keep getting better on Monday. Thank you. We'll next go to Mark Weiser, followed by Andrea Adelson. Hey, James, are you jealous that Kenny got to throw that pass? And, and how did that work out in practice? Uh, you know, is he good at that? <laughs> I, I mean, this whole week, he ain't throw a good pass this whole week. So <laughs> when, he, when, it, when, it, when it came to the game and, and Coach Monkey called that, I was like, hold on. I know he's not going to call this and he ain't throw a good pass this whole week. And I mean, he, he threw it. <laughs> that was a good pass. He threw it. I was I was stunned by that one. I ain't know he was gonna even call it. When he called it and, and Kenny, Kenny had it, that was a good throw. I give it up to him. Great throw. Uh hi James. I'm sorry if you were asked this earlier, but um can you just uh describe the way Stetson performed tonight, some of the big plays he made in the passing game, and whether you and maybe some of your other teammates um heard some of the negativity surrounding him uh, and if that was an extra source of motivation for you all on offense? I mean, as a, as a leader, as Stetson is a leader on our offense, he don't let that negativity go to his head, for real. Like, he just, he like he said, he don't got no social media. He carry a flip phone around and, and he stay off social media and he just let the noise go over his head and, and play football. That's what I love about him. And I mean, I kind of tell him during the game, just trying to, just kind of stay in there. Don't make, don't make bad decisions. Um, use your feet. Just do all the little things that they help you get out of situations that you can fix. Really. Okay, that's 